to Hawaii next year, but Hawaii, uh, you know who else is going to Hawaii and KCON is Larry Lur and Void, and they're getting started on Yoshi's Island. Again, a really unorthodox. Most people want to ban this stage. A lot of people are trying to start on this stage now. That's right. As you can see, we also have the wolf pick coming from Larry Lur. I do like it, for sure. I mean, he can definitely kill Pichu uh, a lot earlier than than uh, Fox can, especially if he gets like the tipper down smash with how light Pichu is. You can see that stock get eraser around 50. Yeah, and he has like a lot more freedom to kind of like ledge trap as well. Not on this stage, obviously. <laughs> uh, That's probably why we're here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that makes total sense. But that up tilt is super strong as well. Just like does a high kick, sticks his boot in the air, and that's enough to send poor Peachy away. All right, neutral air. Ooh, the hitbox coming out just in time for Larry there. As he recovers, doesn't catch the roll with the down smash. Yeah, fun fact about like the Firewolf, even though it has no fire, it's still called Firewolf. But even if you uh, space it correctly and you just uh, space it so you'll grab the ledge at the end, the hitbox still yeah. goes above the ledge. Yes. Yeah, so if you space yourself at max distance as you're recovering, uh, you will get that hitbox, which is really good. Uh, but it, it also leaves you very susceptible as you're trying to space yourself. Mm -hmm. Down to two stocks apiece right now. Percent advantage in Larry's favor. He gets the up throw. No follow-up, not at this percent. The, his throws are going to send him too far for him to really any, get any sort of confirmation. But uh, potentially at le the least set up a juggle. Yeah, a down smash connects for Void, and just not enough to send Wolf across stage. You see up throw, throwing out a shine immediately, but that may have been bait as Void was ready with the forward air. And I'm actually, now that I think about it, I, I, I totally understand why Larry is using Wolf right now. He actually beat Void at the uh, recent Nintendo tournament in Vegas. Oh, really? Uh, with Wolf after he had lost with the... Uh, the Falco, so okay. switch to Wolf, able to secure that tournament, and here we are again, trying to make it happen. Oh, okay. that should be it. You're so like Larry, at 200%. Yeah, Larry was at like 195 <laughs> before the down tilt connected, so he was living for way longer than uh, really he should have been. And so is Pichu, man. He's at 160 right now at the ledge. That forward air might even be a kill option, but what definitely is is that back air. 0% on both players. I mean, especially at these like higher percents, uh, most players would expect uh, Wolf to be going for some type of grab because he does have the kill back throw. That's what we were talking about earlier. You know, the hitbox still extends above the ledge, even if you sweet spot the ledge. Yeah, that's oh my No. Yeah, he's got the no. tech. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, I was like, he, 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 Larry, Larry's better than this. He, yeah, I know you he's calm down, tech. Smash Ultimate. <laughs> you calm down. Oh, good tech chaser. Now we're going to see a down throw following up. Ooh. And I love the way. Um, there he is using, actually, that might do the trick. Yes, it does. Yoshi's Island has really, really small blast zones all around, and that back air incredibly strong. That's right. Void and taking that game one. And the Void just switched up to how he was using his up throw into putting Larry into a 50-50 situation. Because if he throws out Shine, he will get hit by back air. If he does not Shine, Void may use Thunder. Yeah. Yeah. Scary stuff. But we're going to get into game number two. I didn't see what stage they picked. It's going to be Smashville, so very similar uh, stage layout. Yeah, except now we're not going to have those slants yeah. uh, at the at the ledges so or we're, in the center. We're, can, can we get some down smashes? And oh my god, that forward air to downer nearly connecting for Larry. If uh, Void had DI'd in, then he would have been done. Yeah, Void smart enough to DI out, though. Yeah, he know, does not getting hit by that. <laughs> Yeah, he does play a little bit of this character himself, counterpicking uh, especially the Olimars in this, with, with this character. So he understands the options that uh, Larry has online right now. That's so right. much damage. He's going to, yep, he's uh, opted to recover to the other side of the stage, doing a pivot S smash, but it doesn't connect. Now, ooh, big damage coming out from, from uh, Void. Okay, dash attack. Larry's looking for it. It's going to be a kill online right now, especially on Pichu. The back throw should do it, though. Yes, it will. 105% on Larry now. Even perfect DI coming out from Boy, but it still wasn't enough to save him. No amount of DI was going to save him, dude. Pichu's so light. Back throw, pretty strong. 
kills at 150 on like a lot of other characters, so... Oh, no! Wow, the down tilt at the ledge! And, and I think Larry just uh, didn't use his double jump, expecting maybe like a, another potential edge guard from Void, tried to preserve that, and actually ended up costing him the stock. Yeah, he may have been expecting like a down air. Yeah. That, that is definitely a very Void option. <laughs> Tech roll away. Ooh, there's oh a down air. God. Does he have a double jump? Oh, oh, he does, but Void is going to capitalize on it and drags him back down with the Thunder, sending him into the Blast Zone. Really healthy stock here for uh, game number two. That's right. Void up a full stock. You know, he's living at Ooh, the Ooh, he's gone. <laughs> so strong. Yeah, he's nuts. And I think uh, Void was out of a jump there, too. So it just made it even harder. 61% now on Larry. Oh my god. Anytime he's off stage, it doesn't matter what the percentage is. Uh, Larry's going to fear for his life. I mean, especially like when you're playing against a character like Wolf oh as god. Pichu, you yeah. can get the dare and then just go opt for another dare right away. We're going to see it. Down throw, up air. Ooh. And okay. Okay, that must have been a, a miss input. And a really scary spot for Void to have been in as well. That down smash could have uh, easily two framed the quick attack to the ledge. I mean, even, I think it Ooh. extends below the ledge, yes, so he could hit Pichu before it even yep. grabs the ledge. But yeah. another down tilt, expending his jump yeah. this time. Oh, that's what we're talking about. Oh, and Larry with the angle, still not enough distance <coughs> to snap that ledge and get back to the stage. Void gonna take game number two. That's right. He was. He was, uh, of course, you know, using his jump that time. Yeah. He expended it, and Void, which uh, which may have been what he was expecting the first time he was put in that situation, did in fact go yes, off stage exactly. to try and secure the kill. Yeah. So in that first situation, I mean, him him like burning the double jump would have probably killed him anyways mm -hmm. that first time around, but hey, he had to go for it the second time. So wow. Game, Sixteen damage for Blaster. Our potential last game for winner's final. Void up 2-0 in this set. That's right. Big F smash. And you can see 60% on Void already. But percents don't matter if you can't finish your stock. I mean, it's just rage at that point. You just got to adjust for what, what combo you're going for. Ooh, with the landing back here, but not enough to kill. He's going to intercept. Oh, wow. my God. Such good edge guarding Beautiful. coming out from Larry. What a sequence, man. He got the blaster on the uh, skull bash and then into the forward tilt to catch the two frame with the quick attack. Beautiful stuff from Larry. That's right. But Void not being phased by that. Still going, playing aggressive in Larry's face, putting him at 111%. Gonna miss the buffer on the dash attack there. That's what Larry was looking for. Oh, getting the forward air, but not gonna be able to convert into much more. Oh, back air, that's gonna do it. Yep, and Void evening out the stock counts. 59% down. Forward air gonna rack up 14. Oh, getting both hits of the down air, getting the down air, and then of course the earthquake uh, landing box as well. Oh my god, so you Gotta scary. watch those down those dash down tilts or that's down smashes. That's actually the first time I've seen uh, Larry toss out an up smash. So that it was something to remember. We got that option online. Mm -hmm. uh oh. Okay, down smashing, trying to cast the firewolf. These percents are even. Oh no. That was no. Okay, yeah. he did have a jump. Nice pick up with the up smash out of shield, able to secure that stock. Larry up one stock at 110 percent. He's trying to get some extra credit right here. Mm -hmm. yeah, if he can get like Pichu to like uh, 80 percent, that would be great. I mean, 40 percent is still like kill percent almost, but you want to have as much damage as possible so that if you do lose the stock, you have an even bigger cushion. Yeah, I'm, my my expectation is if you can get Pichu to 60, that's when we're gonna yes. see uh, the down smash has started to come out. But uh, that F tilt, you know, we haven't really been seeing it land too much, but that is in fact a kill move. I think Void's been kind of keeping it in his pocket, trying to wait for condition his opponents oh. to forget about it. Ooh, doesn't catch the take chase. Uh, misread on the roll out. Oh, the miss tech to down smash. You cannot miss a tech against this character. You will get blown up. I mean, even if you do tech and Wolf reads your uh, defensive option after the tech, 
you could still get blown up. That's You're right. You're either going to lose the stock or take more damage. And in that case, if you miss the tech altogether, it's just a stock loss. That's right. Larry. And that's when I'm expecting Larry to throw out those nares in those last stock situations whenever Void is at 60% or above. Put him in that tech situation and then just dash, wait, or see if they if he misses the tech, down smash. Is he going to roll? Down smash. Which way is he going? Down smash. Down, down smash, smash is a great move. I love that move. My favorite move in the whole game. I'm not even being sarcastic. Game number four here. GSM Void versus Larry. CLG Void even. That's right. They're going on a town and city. You know, this this uh, state should allow Void to live a little bit longer um, as it does have like the bigger hitboxes yes. or the bigger it's blast bigger zones. Blast zones, yeah. We see a couple forward airs landing for Larry and opting to direct all air dodge to the ledge. Oh, down tilt into the town air and they got so much more damage. I mean, it's so hard to keep up with some of Pichu's combos. Like, it's hard to commentate him at times because you're like, oh, you're trying to play by play? Like, no, but this is going to last a while. Oh. He got that stock by sniping out the, uh, what is it, the, the, the wolf, wolf flash. flash yeah. Wolf Flash not gonna have the uh, necessary distance to make it back to the ledge. He's just gonna fall his death. 129% here. Back throw? Not enough. But, and the next one will do it. That's right. He just has to be careful on which way he's throwing in the direction of the stage. As long as he's not trying to do there it from it across stage, he should be fine. Yeah, he got the, even then, he got the he went off the ceiling instead yeah. of the actual side. And that's the thing about that move and what, why it's so good because it does it kills off at the top a lot of the time as well, um, not so much up on the side. So even if you di it, it's it's kind of just like if you're at the right percent, you're gonna die. Okay, we see Nair into F tilt, but the F tilt does get blocked. Oh. And wow, picking up the F smash on Larry. F smash by the ledge there, just trapping Larry. He's gonna be down to his last stock. This is winner's side life for Larry. Will he be able to pull this two stock comeback or will he take a dip into the loser's bracket? Let's see what Boyd has to say about it. He's got the grabs into up airs. But the shine is gonna beat out any combos that Boyd and just be a perfect combo breaker. Another forward throw coming out from Larry. Yeah, it's actually a pretty good move and we've seen Larry like use utilizing the shine a lot, even uh, out of combos, just kind of just as he know he, he he lands with it to kind of throw out a hitbox that throws off Void. So. And look at that! He knew exactly where Void was going to land. He had the read. He just missed space the up air, and getting Here another blaster. We can see an F tilt. It does come out, but it doesn't connect like last time. You see a up throw. Oh, going for the down air. Flash here. He's got. Oh, back throw right here, right into Larry's loving arms, only 72%. He's still doing a really good job. As long as he doesn't get sent off stage and forced into a uh, poor recovery situation, then he should be fine. Okay, we see a down air connect and another nair just oh standing on. Oh my god! Void with the pick up there, the drag down back air into the forward tilt on the platform. Yeah, Larry was doing a good job of bringing